Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jordan Canlish. I'm a former semi-pro athlete and accountant turned transformational coach for men in the realm of relationships and performance. I'm here today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some insights, some lessons I've learned over the last seven years since I've been in a relationship with my partner. We travel the world, we run a business together, we've done some epic shit, but all throughout all that process, I've learned some really big uh, understandings or distinctions that's helped our relationship go to the next level. I'm gonna be sharing with you today the five big mistakes that most men make or that I made in my relationship and how to overcome them, okay? I'm gonna start off with number one, which is not maintaining a high standard of potency. Now, something that I realized in, in my relationship, it's really my potency, which is, I would describe that as your, your depth of connection with the present moment, right? It's the level of energy that you can uphold in your body that is really determining the level of attractiveness that you bring to any female in your life. And in my relationship, I started to realize that the more present I was, the more magnetic I'd start to become around her and the more she was responding to my level of presence. And I had to look at all the ways in which I was being disconnected from being present. And for a long time, I got pulled into the addiction of using my phone too much and it started to deplete me energetically. And it would show up in my relationship as me not being able to see her fully, not being able to really connect with her in a deep way because I wasn't connected to myself in a deep way. So this was a huge breakthrough for me, which was the more I focus on leveling up my presence, the more I focus on my energy, the more my relationship naturally reflected this, this new standard that I was upholding for myself. So I'd invite you to consider that for yourself. If you want to deepen your relationships, how can you deepen your level of connection with the present moment and with your body? So the second thing that most men do that sabotage their love life and something that I was doing that was uh, holding me back in my relationship was not actively trying to become a better lover, not actively trying to improve sexually in the bedroom. Now, this is a topic that a lot of men just assume that they're uh, like at a certain level and, and that's it. Or maybe they just think like, hey, I'm good enough in the bedroom and I don't need to work on that area. At least that's what I used to think. And what I realized was my partner is yearning for me to really step more into my dominance, my masculinity, my power, my confidence in the bedroom. And how you show up in the bedroom is directly reflected to how you show up in life. And the more I looked at that, I was like, hmm, yeah, maybe I'm not being as uh, dominant or assertive or taking the lead in certain areas in my life and that was showing up in the bedroom and sexually if you can start to continuously improve and bring new elements and new aspects of yourself into the bedroom your partner is going to really receive that in a powerful way a lot of men don't realize that your sexual abilities to satisfy your woman really is a big part of the healthy dynamic of your relationship and for me, it was something that I had to consciously choose to, to get better at, right? Maybe that was uh, choosing to, to, to last longer in the bedroom. That's something you actually have to consciously make an effort and being more consistent at. Or maybe it was learning how to step more into healthy dominance. Maybe it was learning more how to step into psychological dominance in the bedroom, which is something that, that women deeply crave. And it was something I struggled with and I, I wasn't very good at. So it's an, I realized the, the, the realm of sexuality and the realm of uh, lovemaking is, is a whole nother dimension that you must be focusing on as a man to get better at. And it directly correlates to the last topic, which is your potency and your presence. Like naturally, as you become more present and more embodied as a man, you become a better lover. But that's just one aspect of it. There's so many other layers to it that when I started to work on this area, uh, my relationship started to, to go to whole new levels. So uh, complacency is, is not the thing in this space. The third area that men sabotage their relationships and something that I was fucking up for a while was focusing too much on growing other areas of my life. Like for example, my business. I was always committed to setting goals and targets in my business and I put a lot of effort and energy into that space, but I never set goals for the relationship. I never actively said, okay, today I'm working on the relationship or this is something that, a goal that I want, I want us to work together towards. And this is a big mistake because the relationship is its own entity, right? If you think about uh, yourself, you're working on yourself, you're growing yourself, your partner may be working on herself and growing herself, you've got maybe your businesses or your professional careers. But if you don't actively set targets for your relationship, something that you wanna achieve together or become together, then the relationship it starts to just like get left behind, right? You fall into old patterns or just it, it, gets, it gets complacent and monotonous. So for me, I made a big shift in my life uh, a couple of years ago and we, we invested, we, we chose to do relationship coaching. We got a coach who worked with us for six months and we started setting goals. We started actively deciding how do we want our relationship to get better? 
And we had to actually schedule time in our weeks to be like, hey, these are our, our times where we have our date nights. These are the times where we talk about uh, what, what's going on in our worlds. We, have our t- we open our hearts and express things towards each other and we have targets. This creates the relationship as its own kind of foundation that we come together and we work on together. And this is huge because when you have this, you feel confident in each other. You've got each other. You become a team and it's absolutely essential. Uh, and as men, we need to take the lead on this and it's something that I have done that is just like having big impacts because now I have a future. I see what we're working towards and it's bringing a lot more certainty and, and trust in this process. Number four, a uh, big mistake that a lot of men make that I was making for a long time uh, is spending too much time with your partner. And I've been living with my girlfriend for the last, uh, whew, it's been like five years now. I lived in Canada with her. She's lived in Australia with me. We've actually lived with each other's parents. So we've had so many different uh, layers to this dynamic of understanding how to live in each other's space. And one of the patterns that we fell into was because we get along so well when we're around each other and we have so much fun in each other's company, it, it can be very easy for us to just sp- always spend time with each other. You know, during the day and, and the evenings and recently now that, now that my girlfriend, we both work from home, we're just around, around each other all the time and it works. But at the same time, we, I've realized as men, we must consciously remove ourselves from um, being around our partners all the time and actually go out and spend time alone and actually go out and spend time with other men. What happens is when you spend too much time around your partner, this is what happened to me, is you get lazy. Without realizing you start to depend on them for for little things, it kind of starts to take away some of your masculinity. You kind of lose your ability to self-lead. And what happens is when I started to spend more time on my own, I started to start to reclaim my own environment. I started to understand more clearly what it is that I needed. I started to sharpen my internal domain so that I can bring more clarity and precision and, and masculinity to her. When I started to hang out with other men and have more lads time, that was started to, to create more bonding and started to um, open me up to more masculinity because there's some conversations that you can only have with the boys, right? They're conversations that you can't just have with, with your missus. And it's, it, it's so easily overlooked, but as men, we need that. You can't just lone wolf your life and just rely on uh, being around your girlfriend all the time. So actively spending time on your own as a man is essential. And then also spending time around other men, not just hanging out with your missus all the time. Finally, the fifth uh, area that men sabotage their relationships and something that I've fallen into in the past is being too feminine. And what I mean by this is as men, when you've been with your partner for an extended period of time, what I've noticed is we can fall into lazy patterns. Lazy patterns where we rely on them to take the lead on certain things. Maybe it's scheduled, booking dinners, ordering Ubers, organizing travel plans, just like planning things for us instead of us actively choosing to say, hey, I got this, I'm gonna take the lead on this, uh, I'm gonna take the charge. Uh, there's little subtle ways as men we can fall into feminine traits, which is just like going with the flow, not being in charge of things, mentally being on top of everything. Uh, and subtly, this is what happened to me, subtly my girlfriend sometimes takes some more of the masculine pole because she's, she's taking the lead on certain things. And, we needed, and, and I wanted to be more mindful of that because it disconnects the attraction slightly. So I started to look at where, where in my life can I start to take, take charge a bit more and be, take more of the lead and not fall into these feminine, uh, and there's nothing wrong with being feminine. It's, I'm just saying when you're in a relationship, if you allow that dynamic, if you fall too much into feminine qualities, then uh, the polarity starts to, to get mismatched. And that's what I started to notice. So how can you be more masculine? And I started to think, maybe it's just like me just being more, more in charge of certain areas of my life. So be mindful of that one. All right, there you have it. There are five ways that I was sabotaging my relationships and some of the biggest mistakes men make, in my opinion, when in relationships. I'd like you to reflect on that. What are some of the elements that you feel like you're falling short and what would you like to implement from this video? Because I promise you, when you start to make these changes, your level of connection, the level of love, the level of trust, the level of fun that you have with your partner or your future partner is gonna go through the roof and you start to bring more awareness around this. So thank you so much for, for watching this video. Just give it a like. or or drop a comment if anything resonated with you and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care guys, bye for now.